I am Dr. Sharjeel and you are watching my YouTube video. Now in this video I would like to teach you how to perform manual keratometry. Keratometry is the measurement of the power of the cornea and there are two types of manual keratometers Bosch and Lomb and Javel Shorts. So here in this video I would like to show you how to use a manual Javel Shorts keratometer in which there is a fixed image size and variable object size now this is javel shorts manual keratometer you can see the chin rest you can see the two objects and you can see the black knob Mm, here uh, you can see the black knob uh, that changes the distance between uh, the two objects um, superiorly there is a dial uh, in which uh, there is axis in degrees and power uh, in millimeters and diopters now these are the objects uh, this is one object uh, or half part of the object uh, you can see this image is displayed now we have switched on the javel shots and we project these the red box and the green astronaut on the cornea and then we focus the image through eyepiece on the cornea and we align these two objects so you have to align these two objects and then you have to read the diopteric power from the dial superiorly and the axis now you have to take two readings separately because uh, javel shorts uh, measures one meridian at a time so for k1 we keep the dial at 90 degree uh, look into the eyepiece uh, patient well seated uh, now that is the knob and you can see that's how you change it like now it is focused for uh, k1 reading uh, at 90 degree and uh, when you and now for 180 degree and this is the knob so for k2 here and that's the joystick uh, with a joystick uh, to and fro motion um, by while looking into the eyepiece uh, we focus the image uh, on the cornea now patient is well seated and now we will focus it i would like to show you through now that's how you see image through eyepiece the red box and the green arrows and as you can see these are well aligned with each other and there is no space so that's the point where you read uh, you take the reading of k1 and if there is a gap like uh, here you can see there is a gap now there is no gap so that's the point where we take reading now again i have increased the gap and if there is uh, this gap then the reading is incorrect so you have to touch the green arrows with the red box just touch not overlap it and then you have to take uh, k1 from the uh, superior dial so now here at 90 degree you can see and the power of uh, this meridian is 41 so k1 have got 41 diopter power and now we will move it in the horizontal direction and you can see that's how you see the image when uh, you are taking k2 again i have increased the gap and at that point the reading will be incorrect and that's how that's the end point where the red box should just touch the green arrows and here you will take the reading 
the object should not overlap each other when the image is well focused and aligned then uh, check the reading from superior dial so this patient have got 41 diopter k1 and 41 diopter k2 Uh, here you can see now if you see distorted image at 90 and 180 degree then you can rotate the axis dial to get clear image and measure accordingly so in this patient there was no astigmatism and you can see 41 diopter at 180 degree as well so this patient had same reading on both meridians and that's how you measure through manual keratometer thank you